Look at this, not one, but two vehicles drove off the road, hitting a Raleigh sports bar. Police saying both cars crashed into Redino's sports corner. This is along Edwards Mill Road. It was after a traffic, a traffic accident. Aaron Thomas is outside there now from the WRL Storm Tracker. Aaron can hardly believe it. This isn't the first time that a driver has run into this building. Yeah, Dan, let's go back. It was two years ago that WREO reported on the same restaurant, same location, and similar extensive damage when a car rammed through the outdoor patio, except the difference between then and now. It was a different circumstance and different weather conditions. Moments before the dinner hour, two vehicles barreled into the Rudino Sports Corner in Raleigh. I was sitting in the break room at the time, getting ready to get off my shift, and I heard a huge boom, and then the lights went out. Startled by the impact, Waitress Whitney Jones stepped outside to see what happened. She saw one car towards the outdoor patio and another that knocked out the power supply. Investigators say the two vehicles crashed before landing in the location where the restaurant is located. Broadcastify audio highlights the extent of the injuries for a woman inside one of the cars. All right, you're gonna have a 20 year old, 23 year old female. She's cleaning up some knee pain, some pain to the face, GCS of 15. We're sitting on the side of the road. And people go too fast up here. This marks the second time a car plowed through the area. Back in August of 2022, WREL reported on the moment a man hit the gas pedal instead of the brake, crashing into the outdoor deck. Contrasting circumstances and weather conditions from this incident. And it's worth pointing out that before reporting on the Rudino situation, we spent part of the day riding around on the WRO storm tracker just to monitor how slick a lot of the roads are. As it relates to Rudino's, we're told that two people faced minor injuries and so far, no arrests made. Aaron Thomas, WRO News, live in Raleigh.